Okay, welcome back um, to this video if you've been watching others and I should say that if you're watching this and you have watched previous techniques uh, you might see that I've got the same shirt on. Uh, I do have different clothes, it's just that I've shot them all at the same time so I, I wasn't going to start changing all the time so you'll, you'll know that's going on when you see it, I've done it on another day. Anyway, back to guitar learning. I want to talk to you about pick technique and there's a lot of different opinions on this I'm going to give you my opinion which well over 30 years it served me well I'm not um, dogmatic about this I do realize there are different techniques different ways of doing things people f uh, swear by one way or the other um, I'm going to give you how I do it it's it seems to work now <clears throat> fundamentally the pick itself um, I feel it should be held, it, it's like a sort of stone age axe, if you can think of that, you know, and uh, it's held at right angles. And I see a lot of people angling their picks, you know, this way, while they're angling it that way. I think it, it's important that the pick should be at right angles and get the, the best tension. I think the word might even be torque, but uh, I wouldn't swear on that. Uh, the best strike on the string and that you um, modify you modify that that strike as you need dynamic okay so as um, as I was gonna say I haven't said it yet I work on a down and up stroke alternating basis down up down up down up yeah okay there's just some hammer-ons there I'll talk to you a bit about that but So, for most of that little passage of doodling around, I was uh, using down and up strokes. Um, now, I do like to play uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. It's a natural part. Um, I know a lot of people uh, use it maybe a lot more than I do. Uh, you've got to decide. It, it's how you interpret mu music. It's your language in essence. You know, that's... Every little part of you um, that you bring to the guitar, every little, you know, the musical ideas, the way you phrase things, it's all part of your statement, your language. Um, so I don't have any f hard and fast rules about that, about when to do a hammer-on, when to do a pull-off, other than when it feels right. And I know that you may be sitting there saying, yeah, Jed, but I want to know, and I don't want to sort of lay it down because it would be foolish to do that. Um, because you've got to find your own way, sort of, in that sort of uh, arena, you know. So you know, if I was doing, uh, let's say, a, let's take a, a little lick like, uh, let's say, I was doing this. Let's see if I can replay it. But I might put a, a hammer and pull of. I did, yeah. So you'll notice I, I did a hammer on there, but the rest, hammer on pull off, the rest was down and up strokes. And that is fundamentally my technique. Right angles, a good strike on the string, alternating. Uh, I use hammer ons and pull offs as I need them. And, you know, sweet picking as well. You know, so like a. So I'm not actually doing down and up strokes there. You can see I'm utilising pull-offs and hammer-ons and using those two things together to, to create that effect. I'm not one of these people who say you have to do down and up strokes all the time, otherwise you're going to hell. You know, I don't believe, believe that's going to happen um, in any way. Okay? But uh, just... I, you know what I'm really trying to say to you? just be consistent in your approach uh, you know some people do this down up down down up down down up I think Frank uh, Gambale 
uh, championed this sort of thing. And I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? But I get students coming to me and say, uh, yeah, I don't know what that's called, but, you know, but it's three notes of string and when you go across, you do another downstroke. Um, but they're not consistent with it. So, and that's what you need in a technique. I, I think that's probably the lesson we all have to pull from this. It's not about being dogmatic and saying, this is the way you have to do it. It's just that the way that you do it has to be a consistent effort. Uh, something that you, you know, when you pick up your guitar, when you start playing, you are going to play with a, a consistent style, but hopefully not just downstrokes. I mean, it would be silly to just do downstrokes, in my opinion, because if you do down and up, you can do it twice as fast. So I hope I haven't completely confused you by the end of this. Basically, consistency is key. I use down and up strokes. It serves me well. I use hammer-ons and pull-offs as needed. And, uh, you know, even sweep as... Um, you know, that's... Now, if you don't know about sweep, we'll be covering that at some other point. But fundamentally, you rake across the strings. Okay, that's all I want to talk to you about on, on this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, the comments you make might be interesting, um, but hey, why not? So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. And remember, the PDF is there, which outlines most of the sensible material that I was talking about in this video. Bye. <laughs>